concentration is a major part of safe driving and the use of mobile phones. People think that they can answer a phone or even cancel the call on the phone or mute it for a split second and that's okay, but it's not. It only takes a hundredth of a second for a fatal car crash to occur. Uh, and that's something that people don't realize. It's the split second that you pick your phone up to see who's ringing and then cancel it or leave it back down again can be the cause of a fatal road crash. And also speed, speed kills, uh, that has never changed. I was driving and I went into a dip in the side of the road where there was um, uneven ground and my wheels got caught in that dip and flung my car out into the path of an uncommon lorry and as I said, I have no recollection at all. The same problems comes up all the time. The seat belts, the drink driving, the careless driving, you know. And I ha honestly have to say, and I, I was the same when I was growing up, like, you know, you never think it would happen to you. You never think it would happen to you. You always think, oh, that'll never happen. Like, I, I, I'm more... I'm more experienced than that, but it can happen to anyone, and especially when you're when you're young and starting off in life, like you know, uh, you don't have the experience at all. Like the toughest part of the job would be um, having to deal with uh, members of the public who arrive at the scene, and particularly if members of the families of the people who are involved in the accident. Um, in trying to make sure that that we you know we do our job professionally, that we have you know treat the people with dignity. Um, I also have to take into consideration as well the the welfare of the firefighters as well, because from time to time, a lot of the incidents we are at are, are serious, so it can have a, a serious impact on, on those people as well. I always thought that it would happen other people, never me. I was 23 at the time and I was in the full flight of my life as such. The very next day after my car accident was my graduation from UCD. Um, so I never in a million years dreamt that it would happen to me. And I suppose I just urge people to be extra careful on the roads. You never know what's around the corner. When I hear on the news about some tragedy that that pair soul has lost their, their life on this earth but that their family um, their family is probably going to be devastated to some level um, as a result of that so while people young people very often and I to absolutely did myself and it's perfectly natural for young people to feel invincible and think it will never happen to them I would try to, I would suggest to young people to think of, think of your family rather than yourself. But personally I find that when the blue lights stop flashing and I take my uniform off and go home to my own family, that's when the incident I've been involved in that day uh, suddenly becomes very real and personal to me and that I can identify that these, pe these people, these victims of the road collisions are normal people like you and I that uh, may have set out that day to do the school run, go to the shops or go to work and never would have thought for one second that they might not see their family and friends again.